Hello family. Today let's delve into the realms of mindset. See there are five distinct uh, mindset that steer our actions and our lives but we would only explore two in this video so stay tuned for the remaining three and i'm hoping by the end of this series you would be able to identify your own mindset and decide whether a shift is necessary or not the first one is what we call an abundance mindset an abundance mindset is deeply rooted in the belief that there are enough resources and opportunities to go around for everybody and you know in the entire world and so when we consider the vastness of the sea the billions of galaxies out there this can only teach us one fundamental truth that truly there are enough successes and opportunities to go around for everybody and so this mindset encourages sharing it encourages collaboration and it has a positive outlook of our all a practical example could be in a business setting right a team leader with this mindset encourages the team members to share information share resources and they believe that by so doing it will lead to the greater success of the entire team it's important for me to say that they don't hold information to maintain control no people with this mindset don't operate like that and when i was preparing for this video it just hit me what type of mindset do you think the creators of youtube had when they were creating YouTube, the world's biggest open university. And Google, another company that possesses an abundance mindset, who also thought and believed that there was still potential for more. In November 2006, they bought YouTube for 1.65 billion. And today, Google makes about 29 to 31 billion dollars annually and employs, I think, close to 190,000. So an abundance mindset truly works. Does it make sense at all? All right, so when we flip to the darker side of the spectrum, the second mindset I want to talk about in this video is what we call the win-lose mindset. This is driven by competition and ego. It just simply means that there are finite resources and opportunities. And so for me to win would mean you have to lose. And so a person with this mindset do not care. They don't care. They will go to extreme lengths, even if it means to sabotage a colleague, you know, like in a sales environment, a salesperson. They will do whatever it takes to seize an opportunity, irrespective whether it harms others or not. That's none of their business. Their mindset is a win-lose mindset. Do you recognize any of these traits or mindset in you or in others around you? That's the point of doing this video. So let's liberate ourselves and elevate our consciousness. And if you're still wondering, this is Charles, the meaning maker, your guide to finding meaning, purpose, and empowerment. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.